Hey everybody, it's Rob back again. A uh, little episode of I'm in a Car, a solo. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little piece on your website. So there's a couple of little ideas that can probably have a big impact on what you're doing. And I figured I'd share it with you so you can start working on it. And if you wanted some help, you could always give us a shout at Intrigue. Uh, and so here's how it goes. So uh, a website, typically, if you cruise the internet, uh, is all about the business. And when you see it, it kind of makes sense and we're all kind of used to it. And it, we're all really proud of the work that we do. So we typically use a website to kind of highlight what it is that we're good at and how we help people and that good stuff. And that's, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. Uh, but what, the idea I want to present today is just to kind of flip it a little bit on its head and uh, take a little page out of uh, Donald Miller's uh, story, building a story brand. And he does a really cool job of articulating the, the seven steps of, a, of like essentially every movie. And so if you, if you read his stuff or watch any of his talks or videos, um, you can see that uh, he kind of ruins every movie for you. But the, the long story short, it's all about this idea, the seven step uh, storyline where it's a character with a problem meets a guide who has a plan that calls the character to action to either achieve success or avoid failure. And uh, that's worth repeating. So it's a character with a problem meets a guide that has a plan that calls the character to action to achieve success and or avoid failure. And uh, the whole idea, if you bring it back to your website, is just around the idea of like, who is the hero of your story? And if you're the hero of your story, then maybe there are some adjustments that need to be made. Because no one really cares about your story. People care about their story. And so if, you know, you're right now looking at your website and saying things like, you know, um, it just doesn't look like it should. Uh, I've got a lot of feedback. I need to update it. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to trust. Or, hey, why aren't I getting leads through my site? Um, or I'm not getting very good leads through my site. I'm not getting enough leads through my site. You know, these are some of the problems you might be having. Or, you know, maybe I want to make a change and it takes weeks to happen. Or I don't even know how to do it. I don't have access myself. Every time I got to make a change, I got to pay somebody to do it. And there's some pain there. Uh, these are some of the issues that we help people with. And the whole idea is around us articulating that story about your situation. So if you go to a home page, that home page should be really telling the story of the character, which is the customer, and the problems they have and the solutions that you bring to the table to solve those problems. So it's really important that on your home page, if you were to go check it out right now, what's it about? Is it about you or is it about your customer? Uh, when you go to the about page, same thing. You know, if it's all about your history and what you've done and all of your accolades, you know, that's not the end of the world and there's a spot for it, but maybe it's just a little bit lower down on your about page. But the about page really is one of the, in our experience, over, you know, 200 uh, uh, websites that we track Google Analytics for, the about page is always in the top five, if not the top three visited pages. And the reason for that is pretty simple. People are trying to learn more about you and learn more about what it is that you help people with. And like a lot of websites out there, the vast majority, have an about page that's all about them. And so all I'm saying is maybe just switch it a little bit and make the about page about your character, about the person that you're trying to solve problems for. So that when they go to your about page, you articulate the issues that they have so that when they read it, they're like, ah, oh, these guys get me. And then they keep reading. Uh, the other thing is a really interesting uh, concept, which is around how uh, naturally people don't like being told what to do. Uh, so, you know, you probably imagine this anytime anybody's ever told you what to do or how to do something, um, you know, different varying degrees of this for different people, but we typically have a don't tell me what to do type of attitude and we want to figure out things on our own, except for on websites, which is a really interesting piece. So you got to make sure, and this is really simple and it sounds remarkably intuitive, but you got to tell your visitors what to do and you got to let them know to click here, to learn more, to get a quote, to get information. And that call to action needs to be front and center and really clear. So just check out your homepage when you see this video and just ask yourself, A, is this about me or is this about my customer? And B, am I making it really simple and really clear telling the character or my customer what to do when they're on my website? So just a couple of quick little ideas. Uh, the other thing is you want to make sure, and this is just a, a, like a tactical tip, that when someone fills out a contact form or a request for information form on your website, that that form redirects to a thank you page or a different URL. 
a lot of times you go to a website and you fill out a contact form and the form will kind of disappear and it'll say thank you for your request, someone will get back to you shortly. But if you look at the browser window, the URL actually doesn't change. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but when it comes to measuring your leads by traffic source, so if you're paying for Google Ads, or if you're using social media, if you're using email marketing, whatever it might be, that contact form needs to redirect to a new URL. We usually call it a thank you page. That way you can see how many times people have got to your thank you page and you can set up a conversion on a destination, which is your thank you page. Once that's set up in Google Analytics, you're then able to measure how people got there and from what traffic source and really start to get an understanding of what online marketing initiatives you're doing that are leading to leads. So there's three little ideas. One is asking yourself, is my website about me or is it about my customer? Uh, two, am I telling people what to do really simply so they know where to go and how to get in touch with me or what information to look for? And then three, are my contact forms redirecting to thank you pages or at least a different URL that I can measure. So I hope that helps. That's a quick couple little tips. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to give Intrigue a call or you can reach out to me, Rob Murray. You can do it on LinkedIn or give us a shout, uh, Google Intrigue Media and give us a call. Okay, thanks so much guys. See ya, bye.